All right. What's good? Guys, extremely rare. <laughs> Look, guys, you know, we're not even going by that no more. It's from friends, guys. This is this is a great. This is a this is this is a great one. This is a moment. This is a moment, guys. Yeah, you have to understand. Yeah. This is this has been, this has been on the, on the horizon for a while. It has. It you know has. what I'm saying? I think, I'm no. I'm like he just asked. He's like, oh, how how long we know Dom? I said, I don't know. It's, 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 I think it, you know. I, I think I, it goes I, deeper from then even when yeah. we met. We we were we were. I think. You know how it is today. Yeah. Today, social media. Yeah, exactly. Like, I think that's one of the things where we met each other through social media very early. So very maybe early. I would say even we could give it maybe even four or five I'd say years. Four or five years. Yeah, I would say at least a good four. But as far as meeting wise, I think yeah. it's what a three good yeah. three years. Yeah, three years. Good yeah, three we met years in person. In, yes, sir. Uh, yeah. So yes, sir. But guys, this is this this man is is, is I mean as we say CEO, creative director. Um, you know, he it's not even that. Like, you know, Coleman brand owner, Coleman brand designer, the he wears all the hats. This is a very, very important guy, guys. And 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 this is and and somebody I can greatly call my friend. Yes, sir. No, this is this yes, is Tom, guys. This is, this is how y'all doing? How y'all doing today? Man, y'all? how are how y'all you doing? doing? Man, I'm good. I'm blessed. You see where we at today. You I, see where we at today. I, I can I can see. I mean, everybody can see, you know it, what I mean? You know, we got we got too far going to <laughs> going behind us. See, man, it's a beautiful thing. This, I got my brothers in attendance <laughs> with me. Everybody. I got Tim here after three years. Man. Shit. Man, because we, we, we want to go to good. Texas. We want to go to Texas and never come back. Like yeah. that's that's what we're doing. Yeah, yeah but that's not what we're doing. That's not what we're doing. But he can't look. Look, man, I, I can I can I can say definitely you're you're making the right move for the right cause yes, and sir. you know and, and things that you got going let's, on. Let's let's rewind it. So Tim yes. mentioned Texas. Yes. Y'all know me from being here in LA. Yes. LA, I love y'all. Y'all my home. But y'all, y'all started me. But, y'all started everything but, that I did. But when it comes to grown man financially, we you, gotta move to Texas. You gotta do you gotta you, do you, little, you see you Elon do. Musk, right? You seen Elon, right? <laughs> Elon got a million. I'm trying to follow in his footsteps. I'm trying to get right. I'm trying to... No, exactly. And and, and that's one thing about Too Far Gone. I think that a lot of people get misconstrued is... I know know a lot of people see this right here. Yeah. But we're a lot more than that. It's it's a lot more. We have people that are in the music industry. We have Mm -hmm. people that are in, obviously, the clothing industry with me. I got my brothers, like I said, in attendance. But then it's so much more. Yeah. You know? We can do real estate. We can Mm -hmm. do absolutely anything. We Mm -hmm. entrepreneurs. Mm-hmm. Let's get this talk straight. about we, it. Hey. But but first of all, I forgot we we, we do this too much. But yeah. I I want to definitely let's start out with the origin, who you are for people that might not know who you are. Man, because I mean, we jump right into it. Yes, but it's, it's it's natural. But yeah. you know, but let's let's get into it. You know where you're from, what you do. Just kind of give us everything. All right. So y'all. So originally, I'm from Houston, Texas. Makes Originally sense. from Houston, Texas. Makes sense. Um, I grew up in San Diego. We have mm-hmm. a big base on military family. A lot of my mm-hmm. family was already there. Um, but as far as growing up wise, mm-hmm. it was a lot of being in Southern California. Yeah. San Diego, LA area, mm-hmm. right in between these two places. And that's kind of where you see a lot of the growth come from, you know? Yeah. And you know how it is in LA. You know how it is in San Diego, man. No, exactly. I think that we get those two places misconstrued. Misconstrued because it's it's not, it's, I don't know. It's like a it's like a second cousin of LA. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Which is closer to the water. But, but people forget, we right next to the border. Yeah. We got to be silent. A yeah. lot of activity come a through there. A lot of activity. So growing up down there, you get the origin of that. You get a little bit of the hustle and bustle from being mm-hmm. down that way. Um, of course, you get the mentality of being from Houston, but that's the background. That's that's me. That's mm-hmm. me, Houston, and Cali Rays. Mm-hmm. That's it. That's who I rep all day, every day. Good. Yeah, and yeah, that's for all my people true. out in the H town. That's for all my people here in LA, down in San Diego. Y'all, y'all, y'all make me who I am. And look, this is somebody that is very true to it as well. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? Yes, every way, sir. shape, and form. And I mean, also, I want to get into. But I mean, the brand started, which and by the brand I mean so far gone. Yes. You know, it's it's, it's this this man right here. I know you've seen a lot of people wear it. Now you get to see where yeah. it's coming from. You yes, know what sir. I'm saying? Yes, sir. Um, I mean, well, you guys started what 2014 or? Man, we started. It was a thought in 2013. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mind you, 2013. I'm still in high school. Yeah. You know, you go through your situations. You go through mm-hmm. life. Um, and. As a hustler, mm-hmm. 
being from the streets, mm-hmm. you try to figure out ways that you can legalize your money and, oh, well, You know, go legit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, you know, at the time, that's when you see a lot of these big T-shirt brands. You got the hundreds. Yeah. You got all these Fairfax brands that is yeah. just inspiring yeah. young kids at the time. And it inspired me, too. Yeah. So, but it, where I come from, the mentality was, well, shit, let me see if I can flip a few shirts. Yeah. And it worked out. But... That's what grew. That's yeah. what made me grow a little bit more. And it was just too far gone on shirts and things like that. But I wanted to learn more. Mm-hmm. I wanted to get into the industry a little bit more. And slowly but surely, um, I ended up actually quitting. To, uh, quitting. Yeah. Making clothes in a hole. Mm-hmm. Went and worked a regular job. Went to Budweiser. Ended up hurting like my you back. That buzz, yeah, <laughs> you know, you know, hardworking man. Yeah, yeah, I'm a hardworking hard, man. Hardworking man. Hardworking man. Regardless yeah. of what I do, it's all day every no day. No matter what. Yes, sir. So went over there, and like I said, I forgot about the clothes. I forgot yeah. about everything. And um, I ended up hurting my back. Slipped mm. three discs. Jesus Christ. Trying to do too much. Hard you working man. Slipped three discs. I didn't really have anything to fall back on after that. Mm. You know, you, you get cut from your job, disability, Ability, yeah. all that extra. You know yeah, how exactly, I go. Exactly, you know exactly, how I go. exactly. And when you want to stay on the, the straight and narrow, mm. it was a lot of me figuring out how the hell I'm going to do it. Yeah. Where it came down to was, so let's jump back into this fashion industry. Yeah. I know I look good. Yeah. I'm from the streets. We've always said, uh, maybe we shouldn't do that. You don't put your face yeah, out you there like that. Yeah, you put your face out there like that. Well, we growing. Yeah. But as, I, as men, we growing. Exactly. You know what I'm you gotta, saying? You got to, you know what I mean? You got to figure it out where you can get it. And um, I jumped into the modeling industry. Mm-hmm. And, you know, just to wrap that little piece up for y'all, jumped into that, did that for a few years, and I learned a lot. Yeah. And that is when I decided, okay, let's put this too far gone stuff right back into motion. Yeah, let's. Man, I went and bought a little sewing machine from Walmart, <laughs> little brother sewing machine. Uh, and Invested I, in yourself, yes, sir. And I put my time and my effort into it. You know, um, I was at a point in my life, and you know, we, you, you know me, you yeah. know me very well, yeah. and you know, I yeah. want to, I want to touch on everything when we touch on this interview because. Yeah. I believe that every person and everybody that was a part of this journey is yeah. what made it too far gone. Mm-hmm. Um, you know me very well. Too well. You know, you know, <laughs> you know my ex partner too. I, I, yeah, and I mean, and we we spoke about that yeah. right as we got here. And yes, I mean, sir. And I, you know, and he's supposed to be on here too, but he wants to be on the other side of the earth. But which, I mean, but you know what? You're gonna you're gonna get your chance yeah, to have a conversation exactly. with him. You yes, know, but I want to definitely you know kind of touch on that too. Is like. You know, and whoever digs into it or might already know yes, or whatever the case is. I mean, he first off even told me, like, you know, it's it's not even all him. It's it's a team. Yes. You know, this is a very team organized 100%. man and a very team organized company, if we're going to be honest. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, it's 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 never just all one person. But it, it's, it's this is this is the the. I guess you could say the child of having, you know, a good people and good heads around you, no matter 100%. what the 100%. outcome is. What have it, or 100%. ended up being, or what ended up being? But exactly. anyway, I wanted to just touch on that touch for the people. That. I you already know, for, know, you know exactly. And 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 that's one of the things is um, I where I touched on that, and that's where I wanted to touch on yeah. it a little bit with us, and yeah. we did. And that's where he got brought into the situation where mm-hmm. I had a friend, and I we were building, we were building a foundation around yeah. us. Maybe not the clothes. That, that was me doing everything back yeah. that time, and just learning the little details exactly. and things like that. We had a mutual friend yeah. at home. Yeah. He brought Josh into my life. Yeah. Mind you, like I said, Josh, this is the person I and I will always give you the credit, big dog. Mm-hmm. You you helped this brand become what the brand has become. Yes. Um, he came into my life and you know, too far gone was already at a movement. Yeah. And cool. it was one of those things, you know, when it's your dream and it ain't everybody else's dream. Yeah. Your homie sometimes don't jump on it. Yeah, that, and I mean, but that's a he was the young man that jumped, jumped on, on it. with it mm-hmm. and made everybody else look kind of stupid. Stupid, because I mean, so passion I mean, is crazy. Hey, you know that's mm-hmm. the difference. So when we matched in and we found that passion with each other, it took off to the next point. Mm-hmm. You know, um, I was at a point where I was getting over being with, I'm not saying being with my brothers and shit yeah. like that, but I needed to, some time to grow. I needed some time to build a business. Yes, and it came into play. He came around. I moved back home. 
Mm -hmm. my mother, thank God for her, mm -hmm. and my stepdad. Come on. Um, they wanted to see me win. And mm -hmm. what they did was they had a two-car garage and like almost what we looking at right here, what we doing yeah. this setup. Man, they let me take half the garage and make it into my studio. To do what you was going to do. And they let me and Josh become the people that we can become. Mm -hmm. You know, when nobody else believed in us. And, man, that's what turned Too Far Gone into Too Far Gone. Mm -hmm. You ever hear about FUBU stories? Yes. <laughs> I went through the FUBU stage, went the bro. Went no the joke. Stage, yeah. No joke, fam. No, no. joke, Tim. No, I word. did the whole FUBU <laughs> stage, bro. Stayed at mom's for a year and a half. Uh -huh. And that's, I think, when me and you met each other. Yeah. You know, me and Josh yeah. was doing those prevalent trips for yeah. years up to yeah. up to LA, late nights, studio Man, sessions, no word. things like that. No so, word. you know, as we grew, um, the company just grew. Yeah. And you know, hey, we are where we are now. And I and just so we can touch on that, we ain't gonna touch too yeah, much. Yeah, no, it's, it's it's cool, but you know, um, it, it, but I mean, it, it's about the journey. Yeah, you know, man, and, and I, I appreciate I appreciate everybody that's been a part of this yeah. journey, man. Especially that man right there. I think that exactly. he doesn't. We don't get a lot to we don't we don't get the chance to talk to each other. Yeah. So I mean, um, but we, we spoke on that too. I mean, it's just it's gotta understand like it's life. We talked about that a little bit with the industry, though. Yeah, right? but I we mean, it, 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 even with I mean, and everybody can see. I mean, I know everybody's used to you know these interviews being kind of in closed areas and stuff like that. But I mean, this is what it looks like when we're working. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's this on the is, move. This is on the move. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, of course, you know, not everybody's going to be able to sit there and, 100%. and, you know, flush out. You know, you still got stuff to do. Exactly. No matter you what. Got, you, got you know what I'm saying? Boy. No matter what. You know, and that's the one thing is I want everybody to know regardless. And that's why it's not, it, like like Tim mm -hmm. said earlier, like when you had that conversation with that young man. Yeah. And he said, this is a very big team organized company yeah. in the way that we run, mm -hmm. regardless it's not just me. Yeah. Man, we no. got my brother Dave on the other side of yeah. it, too, on the skate industry. Mm -hmm. Man holds it down for us in the skate industry. Mm -hmm. You know, while we while we put the work in over here, he did everything possible to do his thing over here. Yeah. And, yeah, there's fallouts, and that's life. But it's human look nature. At, look at what we flourished and what we've become. What turned and, into. And, you know, I... I the grace of God to that young man right there because I know, like I told him the last time that we conversated, mm -hmm. I know I'm going to be able to tip my hat and I'm going to know I'm going to be able to shed a tear when I see mm -hmm. you on the runway and we mm -hmm. cross each other's paths in mm -hmm. Paris. You know? Exactly. So as far as that, man, you know, like we said, the team grows. Yeah. It grows. We lose people, we bring people in, you know. And it's, you know what I mean? And I mean, it's never really anything lost. I mean, everybody just has to take whatever route that they feel is 100%. up to them. You know what I'm saying? 100%. You know? But I do also want to get into what yes, what is the, what's the idea behind the Too Far Gone? Man. Because I've never heard. So as a young man, everybody used to, you know, like I said, I was in the streets a little bit. Yeah. So being in the streets, I used to get the name. Oh, you're a little bit too far gone. You might want to calm uh, down. Calm down. Uh, and I didn't like that stigmatism. Yeah. So when I when I came out with the clothing brand or when I figured out, trying to figure out the name mm -hmm. of the brand, it was one of those things where that was the first thing that kept coming to my mind. Boom, boom, yeah. too far gone. That's just a prevalent name. Yeah. But how can we switch that terminology? To make it a, a positive like, When you think about too far gone, like I said, you think about people that are in the streets. You think yeah. about um, the homeless society. You yeah. think about... Just people just not doing what the hell they're supposed to do. Yeah. Well, no, nah, let's 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 switch that up. Yeah. And that's when I came up with inspired by the fear of being average. Ah. Uh, ah, mm. uh, okay. Also, okay. I know when when y'all get when y'all see this, I think a lot of people are gonna be like, Well, who the hell is too far gone? <laughs> For the people that don't know us as too far gone. We go by the 2067. So, yeah, the 2067. And the 2067 is mm -hmm. just too far gone broken down into the alphabet. You got the 20th syllable being the T. <laughs> yeah. The 6th syllable being F. Yeah. The 7th syllable being G. Look 2067. Look at you. Hey, I did not know. You know what's crazy? I've always wondered that too. That was going to be like low key the next question. I was like, yo, why you got numbers then? Like, there you go. You know what I mean? But no, there that's. There you go. That's hard. Yeah, man. Very they, creative. And and that was just some young high shit. You know, being yeah. a being a creator, yeah, trying to figure like, different things out. And exactly. it stuck. Yeah. It stuck. That's that was the most prevalent thing. Yeah, so. I mean, but I mean, you know, everybody kind of throws ideas out the wall and see, 100%. you know, which one which one's gonna stick. Man, there, you wanna you know? know some crazy shit? Huh. Sam, I was gonna name the company F F Apparel. You wanna know what that stands for? <laughs> What's this? Man, this was some young nigga shit. <laughs> 
It's frosty fresh. Why the? <laughs> <laughs> no, man, you feel me? I mean, no, but like everybody got like those weird ass. Like, you, exactly. You know we go saying? through those quirky stages and things like that. Yeah. And you know, man, I remember it was at a time, and this is before before everybody came yeah. into the picture and stuff. And I was bouncing ideas off my stepdad, and you know, he's a yeah. big businessman, and he was one of those people that man, he was looking at me when I said, "Hey." Like that, me wave no, me what off. What are you doing? <laughs> and when I came back with Too Far Gone, mm -hmm. I had a whole room of grown men of the age of forty-five. And when I yeah. when I mentioned Too Far Gone, everybody yeah. turned their head. That's yeah. when I knew. Okay, it okay. makes sense. There we go. You know what I said. mean? But I mean, even even with that, I mean, it yes, it, it speaks to a, uh, you know, to to the youth and things of that yes, nature. Sir. I want I want to say, you know yes, what I'm saying? Sir. But it also speaks to you know. Like you said, you had a room full of grown men. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that term is, you know, especially prevalent with black men yes, or you know, right. or or whatever, you know what I'm saying? But you know, I'm saying like, you know, oh no, you're too far gone because you know you of didn't color, do this, you didn't do color. that. Yeah, of any, of any minority, really. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I'm even yeah, any color. So I mean I just think it's very it's 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 a pivotal yes, sir. name other than just like a clothing brand yes, name. Sir. Like you know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Like that's that's fine, like yeah. you know what I mean, especially from where it stemmed from. Thank you, know you. What I mean? appreciate that. Like, I really do. I, I never really do. do. Like really, and as long as I've known you, I've never asked that question. So it's like you know, you know? I'm, I'm a quiet man. You know, um, facts. I think that I try to let my work speak as much as possible. Yeah, and you know that's just coming from the background that I come from. You know, mm -hmm. especially being from the black culture as well as I'm, I'm Italian as well. You look like and. It. There you go. You, you know what like I'm saying? And, 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 and I'm saying, hey, I'm both sides, man. You exactly, know what I'm saying? Exactly. I'm showing love for both sides. I'm showing love for my Europeans, and I'm yeah. showing love for my peoples. Exactly. You get me? Exactly. So that's one of those things where I think coming from both sides, they both very hardworking people, if you know about those two cultures. Facts. A lot so, of diversity. Exactly. So mm -hmm. it's one of those things where I, I know nothing but to work. I know nothing yeah. but to keep busy and yeah. keep moving forward. And I think that's where a lot of people... They see me with my head down a lot. When yeah. you see me at parties or things like that, I'm mm -hmm. not the most vocal person. I'm not the most, you know, outgoing person. A lot person. of the times the parties is just because, you we know. We market. Exactly. We got to, we got to be there. Exactly. There's not a lot of partying. If I didn't have to, you know, I'll be real. I mean, I don't know if you feel the same way, but shit, if I didn't have to go to these places to, you I know, what I mean, speak go. to people, I wouldn't be going. Like, you know what I'm, I'm saying? I'm a homebody. I'm, I'd rather be in the crib. I'm, I'm, I'd rather be making some money. If I'm out, mm -hmm. let me make some money. Exactly. You, you know, least, know what I'm you know saying? Or I mean? I'm marketing, like exactly, how you said. You know, like how you said. You know, show your face for, for a second. You know yes, what I mean? Make sir. it make sense. You yes, know what I mean? Sir. Yes, but I mean, sir. a lot of people don't understand. That's, that's, that's the groundwork. You know what I'm saying? And, Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. You no, go but ahead. I know it's, it's, it's the groundwork. And I mean, especially too, because I mean, especially on this podcast, I speak a lot about, you know, relationships and, mm -hmm. and, and what it exactly is to have a relationship with somebody that, you know, might be in the same field or a different field or, yes, you know, sir. somewhere that you might want to be at. You know what I'm saying? It's, and people, exactly. It's, it's important. You know what I'm saying? But you have to be genuine. The genuine part of this is very important. You know what? You know? I, I love that you touched on that. Yeah. And, um, you know, you guys, like you've seen in the background, you see a lot of movement going on. Mm -hmm. um, the one thing I like to try to do with what, we, what we've been doing lately, mm -hmm. and I know a lot of people know us for working with, you know, the big artists or yeah. the big underground artists and things of that sort. But the last two years, what I've been trying to do more than anything is, especially when it comes to shoots or anything of that yeah. sort, use other creators. Yeah. Use other people. And use me yet. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> My boy no, 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 no. Look, look, look at what we doing no, right exactly. here. Look at, no. Hey, have y'all seen this before? <laughs> have you seen somebody pull up, do a podcast Come on. At, Come on. at the show and still be able to have they, they dogs in the back Come on. what they supposed to? Come on. Man, I'm, Come none on. of my niggas is paid yet. We still grinding. We still investing literally 250% into this company, y'all. Come on. So for my boys to be doing this and Tim to be here and be able to give us this platform. I'm just happy I'm, to be here. Man. You know what I'm saying? This and is hard work right here. This is this is the epitome of it. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, this is but this goes to show you too that we've yes, always sir. had a very good relationship. Yes, no sir. matter No matter what, yes, no sir. whatever the case is, you know, it's always just been blind support. You know what I mean? I think that's what we forget <laughs> in this industry is mm -hmm. support one another because- yeah. It, you know, it's almost just like the the entertainment industry. What we don't realize sometimes is everybody want to be a top dog, but if you you just play your role and you you help one another, you mm -hmm. everybody gonna succeed. Everybody gonna be at the top. No, literally. 
No, I mean, but I mean, but you gotta understand too. People's mindsets are so interesting, you know. Yeah. Nowadays, we we got different people. We got different people out here, man. That's it. It's just how it is. Life. Pause. But yeah, so yeah, no, it's just it's just about the relationships, yes, and I sir. mean, I just think it's it's who to make sure that we keep them. And, you know, uh, keep in mind, you know, man. everybody's kind of on a mission. 100%. You know what I'm saying? So, but, because a lot of people take that <laughs> shit as a, like, oh, you know, oh, you ain't, you know what you I mean? You know, and I, I want to I make that shit clear to people, too. It's like, I think we get so misconstrued and so upset when somebody don't hit them back right away. But everybody got to realize we all on the same grind. So just as busy as the next person is, the next person is just as busy. You know what I'm saying? We, we so all got we the gotta, same goal. We got to make sure that the time management or just um, considering people's time. Say that's one of the biggest things, <laughs> considering people's time. And this goes for the artists. This goes for designers. This goes for all photographers, the way down to the PA. podcasts. Yeah, and especially for your big niggas over yeah. there at the record companies Man, and all that come type on. of shit. So, come on. But other than that, we just got to respect each other's time. No, that's literally. the biggest thing. You no, know what I'm saying? I, mean, I think we forget that. And that's what I think a lot of the things is, like, with Too Far Gone, what we're trying to bring back is, is bring back the genuineness of the company. Yeah. Like, the genuineness of everything, everything that goes on. Everybody ain't got to like me. <laughs> I don't care. Come on, we not in the. But, hey, you I'm know, not in the field you know, of... Tim. A lot of these dudes know. Come I'm on, gonna be as genuine as exactly. possible. Exactly. No, you it, know, it, so it, you can. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? And I, I don't. You know, I want to also jump from that to show, like, kind of like the authenticity of your guys is the the designs and, and how you guys going about it. Like how how I mean I know, you know, not to you know revert, but I know yeah. you know what I'm saying. But how how do you go about it? Like where where are you guys pulling from? Because this. I mean, I mean, it's all gonna be in black and white. But oh my god! Yeah, like, you, you know guys, y'all, y'all gonna see it. You hey, did. this comes out next Sunday. Exactly. Uh, but as soon as this come out, y'all make sure y'all go jump on the website. Now nah, we gonna put the uh, we gonna put the yeah. uh, the website yeah. and everything in the bio. It, it'll be available. It'll be in the bio. Yeah. It'll be in the bio. Yeah, yeah it'll be you know available for you, and y'all gonna see Tim and a whole Please. bunch more. Come you on, see Tim and a whole bunch more. We gonna make sure man. our man's an ambassador. Come on, you know? man. So come on. Um, but you you were asking where the ideas stem from. Um, like stylized, man. Too, like, you know what I mean? You know, growing up, being in the streets, you you, everybody always want to be the flyest. Mm-hmm. That that's the truth. But it's a, it's on a different category. It's on the five hundred one categories, plain plain mm-hmm. tees, uh, maybe some Texas. Jordans. Yeah, maybe Especially. some Jordans. You might have the Air Maxes on, all that mm-hmm. different swag. And so I've always had that clean feel to me. But I think it was when I hit the modeling industry. Mm. Um, I. Me being European, uh, yeah. half Italian, I had such a classic look. Mm-hmm. Y'all see me now, but when you see me when I model, it's it's, it's two different. different. It's yeah, a it's, different it's guy. night and day. It's, it's night a and different days. guy. Yeah, so I think that that's where it came from. Knowing when I was modeling, that this classic look and how people aim towards the high fashion industry or yeah. the high street fashion, mm-hmm. how they aim towards that. That's where it was more or less okay. Let's start researching. Yeah, and where I told you about Josh, man. Mm-hmm. Um, as I'm more a mainstream person. Yeah, where like I said, I did the modeling. So whether it's Versace's or mm-hmm. learning how the to... American brands run, the polos, the you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying, Tommy Hilfiger's things of that sort. He knew the underground scene. Yes, and for y'all fashion kids, y'all really need to understand where the underground scene came from came from and how it really is so prevalent to what these people in the big companies are, are doing. doing I mean, that's where know? they get the ideas. Um, So <laughs> that's one of those things where, you know, I know about the Alexander uh, Wangs. I yeah. know about the Alexander McQueens. I know about certain Japanese brands, yeah. but it was the certain companies that really weren't rising the, until Corona. The, yeah. Corona. Maybe overseas yeah. they was moving well, yeah, but it's, but in the yeah. states they wasn't moving. They wasn't too doing well. anything. Um, and when I talk about these Japanese brands, we we kind of lean a little bit more towards the Japanese style. Yes, I so, could, especially for it being as colorful as it is, but also very you know not bleak, but just very straightforward at the same yeah, time. Too, yeah, you know what I'm and a lot of reworks. You see a yeah. lot of you lot of see a lot of repurpose. And now when, look, not to not to cut you off, yeah, not to ahead. cut you off, but I remember, and I mean this is when again. 
like when I met old boy, yeah, he had those out those Allen Iverson shorts. These niggas was cutting up uh uh uh, uh shit uh fucking jerseys, basketball jerseys, basketball jerseys, man. and making them into shorts. And man, remember when I told you about the garage? Yeah, man, the garage was I think. I think every designer needs to go through that phase. Not not say maybe they're the garage phase, but, but they up. need to go through their their bottom stage because yeah. when I say as as we grow as a business, you have you take on so many more op, like <laughs> yeah. like positions that you got to handle. Exactly. So you we we we're sitting there and it's like okay, I can't think about my creative creative as much yeah exactly but when you're at the beginning and you pumping them out and left and right bro when i say that was the best thing about me and that man was yeah. that we was both so on the same page when it came to just let's make something different yeah that it was like feeding exactly. off of each other feeding exactly. off of each other feeding off mm -hmm. of each other to where we both didn't mind making the most craziest thing yeah because we knew the most craziest thing was what was gonna this was gonna go and what was gonna put us out there exactly what was you gonna know? go so you know it'd be a lot of the times where I would be on the sewing machine and he would be doing the research right mm -hmm. and he would come to me and be like yo he would bring me this archive piece from 1980 yeah. 1960 <laughs> and I'm talking about whether it's punk Japanese whatever yeah. it is and he would be like you think we can do this well shit we gonna try then we're gonna give it a shot and man, we that's where we came up with a lot of these things, mm -hmm. man. I remember it, it was late nights when we couldn't we, we, exactly. That's all we had, man. Exactly. I think the the basketball shorts, the the sweaters, the things of that were sort. Y'all was doing crazy stuff with jeans too. I remember. You know, nobody knows this, but you know, I'm gonna just throw a little secret out there. I know a lot of people was in a thrift store. But I, I promise to God, ain't nobody was in a thrift store like me. Like, oh no, nah. man! When I say nah. I ain't, we ain't have the money, we wasn't in, we wasn't in LA where everybody can go get all mm -hmm. the, everything from the fashion district, bro. We didn't know none of this. None of y'all niggas wanted to give us shit. Like mm -hmm. y'all didn't want to give us shit. Mm -hmm. So what we would do is hit every thrift store throughout San Diego, and That's crazy. we literally would just literally. Change tags out something be forty dollars. We changed it to a dollar tag. Like, yeah, exactly. Broke his shit at that time. You gotta, man, you gotta make it work though. So that's where the creative came from. Yeah, that's where it just. I mean, taking something that was somebody else's as far as another culture, yeah. Japanese style that they've been doing this for thirty years. The uh, the punk coming from the English culture and yeah. Paris and just that high fashion vibrancy. Mm -hmm. Man, we just figured out a way to mesh that shit together. Mm -hmm. And man, like, that's where Too Far Gone came from. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, you had that side of the spectrum. But then remember, you know, where we come from. Exactly. Remember where, like, where we start off at is in the streets, yeah. you know? So that's where now you see a lot more simpler things coming out to yeah. where... I have to make it to where it's like, okay, that set us up there. Yeah. That put us up there. What's going to keep you going? But what's going to keep you yeah, What's gonna, gonna give us going. longevity? Yeah, because remember, you want to last. That's that's please, that's, please remember that's that. the that's the like the uh, what are you going to say? That's the message of the day. Just remember that you want to last. It's longevity, man. You know Nipsey I mean? Hussle said it best. Like longevity, Most... and that's the biggest thing is I think that uh, people people need to make sure that they start utilizing their their losses as their lessons. Yeah, it's don't don't take that L as a loss. Take mm -hmm. that L as a lesson and keep moving forward. Exactly. Because none of us, majority of us that are going to make it in this industry, mm -hmm. we ain't taught shit. I don't think, I mean, you didn't go to school? Never. See, I Never, said- Never, bro, I didn't. Nah. You, you want me to keep your butt? Yeah. Oh, so, come on, come on. So in high school, you know, great athlete, things of that sort. Yeah. Um, my boys would tell you, I was probably the only one that was back and forth in between the streets. Yeah. I got into some trouble early. Um, mm -hmm. I had a few scholarships, mm -hmm. lost my scholarships. Mm. Went, ended up going to jail my senior year for about a good six months mm -hmm. on and off. Um, when I came home, I was on house arrest. Mm -hmm. They didn't want me to be a part of the yeah. team no more. Yeah. So what happens? You lose your scholarships. Yeah. You lose those type of things and all that extra shit. Yeah. So where do you... Where do you go? Where do you go? Where do you go from there, man? Exactly. Um, I was I was lost, bro. I've I didn't even get the chance to finish high school. 
Mm-hmm. Mind you, you you coming out of high school with a 3.0 grade average, but you just got mixed up in the you wrong You got with thing. the wrong shit, yeah. And this is the one thing I can say for young kids. Like, man, if you know what you want to do early, whether it's sports, fashion, stay the fuck out these streets. These streets yeah. don't get you nowhere. Nowhere. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is somebody coming from the streets. Yeah, that shit don't exactly. get you nowhere. Talk dude. about like, it. I'm so, like, you know what I mean? Um, I, like I said, you know, while watching all my peers you know, graduate high school that year. Mm -hmm. Man, I wasn't able to go to high school. I wasn't able to go to school no more. They sent me to continuation. Now I'm... Trying to get a GED shit. Now you're going to continuation with your... As as y'all young niggas like to call it, now that your app. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Like... Because everybody's in the same boat. Yeah, you're in the same boat now. Everybody's in the same boat. Everybody that you didn't have beef with is at your school. Which makes it worse. Now it's like I... Nah, I just can't go to school. Yeah, now right, fuck yeah, it. Let exactly. me just go ahead and stop going to school. Let me do this. Exactly. And that's kind of what happened is yeah. I just hit the streets hard, making yeah. my money, doing my thing, becoming a grown man, learning mm-hmm. by myself, mm-hmm. and slowly but surely. It worked you out. Know, it, it worked out. It worked yeah. out. But yeah, you're right, Tim. Uh, no schooling. No high school. Um, yeah. No high school degree. Mm-hmm. Man, just just hard work and just drive, man. And thank God for my brothers around me being able to support me. And mm-hmm. you know, once they head above water touch they you. took their dreams, and you know what I'm saying. Where all my boys, they finished, they finished high school. They yeah. went to college. They did their route. A lot of people don't know this about Dave. Mm-hmm. You know, Dave yeah. in the skate industry. Yeah, a lot of people don't know this. Before that, he should have been in the NFL. Really? He went to really? so Dave used to be a running back. In high school, from that broke records at our high school, turned around, went to Eastern Illinois, went to West Florida, did his thing, decided that that wasn't for him anymore, mm-hmm. and came back and jumped on a board, you know, and yeah, things like that keep keep us alive. That's what exactly. keep me alive. You know what I'm saying? That my boys, they went out and they did what they were supposed to do and got to live their dream while I was figuring out myself. Yeah, exactly. And look, damn, now now it just kind of full circle works out. Because, you know? I mean, and, and even with that, I mean, because it's not a race. I feel like people, you know, and, you know, it's not a race, it's a marathon. Yeah. But, you know, but I'm saying it's it's the same thing where it's like, I feel like a lot of people, not shame, but like it's like they become discouraged after the, the first idea doesn't work out. 100%. You know what I'm saying? Or the first venture doesn't work out. And it's 100%. like, guys, like, it's not like we're 58. And this is it. Like, you know what I'm saying? We You have a lot of time. Hundred percent, yeah, I mean, man. Hundred yeah. percent. Well, a lot of these, I think, a lot of these brands, man. Even with the clout that they got today, mm-hmm. a lot of these kids only been doing this shit for two, three years. And I'm happy for the kids that make it to where they supposed to be in two, three years. Exactly. God bless them. Come on. God bless them. Mm-hmm. But you gotta put the work in. Like I think a lot of people don't know this, um, but Too Far Gone been around for about, like what we say, yeah. about, so we talked about a little bit, about 10 yeah, years about now 10 years. down there. Well, like, almost a decade. Yeah, so mm-hmm. we just now popping. Look. We just now popping, but you gotta go through those stages. You gotta wait your turn too, you know Man, what I'm saying? Man, I think Tim, I, I, you saw, you, we, we let's on. just get back to Come what me on. and Tim Come first on. met I each mean, other, man. Like. <laughs> I think that Too Far Gone has had his highs and his lows to where when we met Tim, man, it was right before Corona and we yeah. on the road every day and we up with every artist. We were dropping our clothes. Every you day. You dropping we, clothes. That, that's how we met. That's, we running Literally. into each other at different studios, exactly. different Everything. artists, things of that sort. It's a small world, though. hundred. LA, LA's small. LA's small if you know what you're doing. Yes. Like, I you're going to run into the same You're going to run into the same people. Yes. But, and, then, and then it really aligns with, shit, everybody, you know, everybody's kind of doing that same thing. Yes, you know sir. what I mean? Like, yes, and it, sir. And it's a beautiful thing to see. Yeah. You know, especially even if it is like, you know, the you know different creative ventures. Mm-hmm. It's still good to kind of see like okay, they're still doing a thing. That's still you know what I'm saying, and 100%. it really you know. Can you let him know? Thank you. You know what I mean? But like, I think it's just really, really like you know empowering, not empowering, but also inspiring. Yes, you know sir. what I mean? To just see all that happen. But yeah, no, we was we was running in. We ran. It was like five studios. It was like almost every week. Every week. Every week. And every then week. I mean, we would. I mean, because I met. You, I mean, I, I know I met Josh at Uno's, but I met you there too because we were yeah. dropping that hat off. Yeah. And I remember you had, you just had this fucking crazy ass hat. I can't remember the, um, it wasn't the ones that had the, you know, the two. Spark on, on it. It was the other, it was the other one. You had a. The fitted one. Yeah, the fitted one. The fitted, yeah. The fitted. Yeah. And um, I was like, oh, that shit is hard as hell. And like, that's ended up, I think that's when we really were like, oh shit, sure. Because social media is crazy. Yes. You know what I mean? So you, yes. and then after that, I mean, this has been a real good, again, 
bond and friendship, you know, you know what I mean, for, for a very long time. And I mean, even with the people that you work with, and especially, you know, he's really about working with a lot of other creators to help them with things like this and stuff mm-hmm. like that. And I mean, it's very, you know, it's, 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 it's really nice. It's humbling. Yeah. You know what I mean? This, you know, to really see like, you know, like you could do it no matter what. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That it, like you said, it's a grind no matter how you look at it. 100%. But y'all did it right. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? I, you, I, 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 could, I could definitely wholeheartedly say that you guys went out there, did it right. The products are clean. Everything Thank is, you, man. Everything is taken time with. You know what Thank I'm saying? You. It's Thank it's you. it's a full circle brand. 100%. You know what I'm saying? And I want to say too, so are we like, are, what's up with the runway stuff? Where are we, we at? Where, where are we, we at? doing? Because I mean... At? Man, man, we, I'm got su- a, we got a lot of shit in store this year. Because I'm saying, I'm surprised. You know, y'all know That's- me. Y'all know me. I think... um. I think a lot of people they they look for for too far going to do a lot of pop ups and things like that. But if you really know Dom, but it's not really like if you really know Dom, like we 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 going for that top spot. And you know I'm gonna say this as as humble as possible. You where say, you just say it, hey, <laughs> like come on now, like yeah, come on now. No, I mean, but I mean, I would have never even even when I first. You know, got wind of who, you know what I'm saying? It didn't, it doesn't have a pop up sense. It's very, yeah, it's very, it's very like curated. Yes, sir. And I think, not to say curated brands can't have pop ups, sure, go crazy, but it's just certain. It just doesn't have like that. Oh, I'm a. You know what I'm saying? It's, you it's, have your merch section, and this is this it, no wrong to know. There's different. There's, but this is a clothing to, brand. Yeah, and what people need to learn, I think, about clothing brands is you have your different sectors. Break it just down. like the music. Break it down. Just like the music. Yeah. You got people that can do the graphic designs. Yeah. The streetwear mm-hmm. culture. You got people that are in between that yeah. can do a little bit of both. Mm-hmm. They they know a little bit with their hands and they know a little bit with the um, with the computer. With the computer. But then you got your people that are on the high fashion side that know nothing but their high hand, their mm-hmm. hands. Mm-hmm. So, and I think that that's where us as the LA culture, we get so lost in that sometimes. Yeah. Where we think just because a rapper puts it on that it's high fashion. Yeah, or it's... <laughs> the yeah. high fashion yeah, that yeah, y'all yeah, think yeah. that y'all wearing it's, isn't high it's fashion. It's not. It's not. It's not. Exactly. It's not. So... That is not. That's what I want people to know is that there's different lanes. Like yeah. there's different lanes to this shit, and yeah. everybody excels in their lane and does what they supposed to do, and they all supposed to be able to cross over because cross referencing and cross promoting. That's what you supposed to do for the world to go around. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Or at least also to keep you. But y'all just gotta from- know that it's just the same way. You know when you go up to an artist and. You know, you you be like, hey, so this is rapper so and so, whoop, whoop, and he corrects you and he call himself an artist. Exactly. Exactly. There's a difference. There's a difference. You know what I'm saying? So, um, let's just get back to the fashion show shit. No, yeah, but no, no, that's, that's the no, reason why we having this combo. But I wanna, I think. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying because you don't see. I mean, and I mean, I, I guess you could say like a prime example, and I'm just gonna throw this out yeah, there. Yeah, go ahead. But like just like you know, like a Tyler Creator. Boom, okay. You know, our of him, future, uh, our, the odd future stuff yes, and whatever, sir. but it, the odd future stuff, that's merch. Yes. And now that he does a little golf floor thing, and now he's doing fashion shows and stuff like that, and now Boom. it's curated to be an a actual brand, brand not a clothing line or not a 100%. merch line. Or, 100%. You know what I'm saying? And I just, that's what I'm saying. I was so curious because I'm like, you guys... Started off so exactly. early. Exactly. So I'm like, you know, what's what's the Where, plans? Yeah, yeah the, exactly. the plans, the plans, man. Um, we got a lot of hidden stuff in the works. Um, uh, I've been staying very low quiet. key and quiet about things. And I think the reason that you've been seeing a lot of a lot of more of the branding things from us instead of me being on my hands so much. Yeah, exactly. Is because there's a lot of things in the back that we're working on. Yeah. Right now. And mm-hmm. me and you will discuss that. We we Can't discuss wait. a little bit. And we'll, we'll discuss a little bit after of Can't what wait. those things are yeah. that possibly, you know, will be to to the public in the next, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully by the end of the year. Yeah. But besides those things of why we've been quiet and, you know, making mm-hmm. sure that people can see us on what we can be on that level of what you're talking about. Yeah. Um, the fashion show aspect, man. I don't know if everybody knows this, but I know a lot of y'all. Yeah, Tim's followers. We got come, the same come, followers. Come, we have the so, same people. It's the yeah, same we got people. the same followers. It's so small if, world. If y'all saw me, you know, I was just pre- pre- uh, previously in in January yeah. the whole month. I was out there for Fashion Week in Paris. I know. 
Um, linking in with all my my good my good dudes Being out there. Being as light skin as possible. Hey, you know, trying to be <laughs> chocolate topping it with people, making sure they know who I was. Exactly. Flashing no, my, exactly. you know, flashing you the blue do, eyes. You gotta you know. do what you do. We Man. gotta we gotta be a presence. Come you on. Know? Um, so I was out there doing what I was supposed to do. Exactly. Um, we went to a few shows. Mm-hmm. We got shown around, mm-hmm. and we also have been talking with a lot of people out there to where they're kind of on the fence about, well, Dom, you need to be out here. You need to move out here. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. Like the stage, come out here. Yeah. So we're just in the process right now of figuring out all that type of exactly. stuff. Exactly. Um, we do got fashion week coming back up. That's what I'm saying. So what I mean, I mean, I would hope. I would hope to get a, you know, uh, you know what I'm saying? A a quick, he said, exactly. can I get that? Can I get exactly. that? Exactly. I, the, would love to, I would love to hear. So what we're thinking about doing is um, we have, we do have the ability, man. Mm-hmm. I know, like we said, Sam, before Corona, you knew, you already knew it come was going to be what it was. Um, before Corona, we got asked to come out there. Yeah. We got invited to Fashion Week. If anybody knows about Fashion Week, Fashion Week is about a $20,000 bid if you're trying to just get in there by yourself. We ain't got that bread. Mm-hmm. Come if on. you get invited, it's a different nothing. story. Yeah, it's nothing. You just get your sponsorships, and then you just keep pushing yeah, forward. Exactly. Boom, boom, boom. You're good to go. Yeah. Well, Corona stopped all that. So uh, that's where you mm-hmm. saw us come to L.A. The legwork came into work. Yeah. So now we're back on the spectrum of me going out there. I did the I did the the trips privy to yeah. just build, just, just to see what ju- we could do. Show your face. Uh, yeah, you got you know to. I mean? You got to show your kiss face. You, the whole you, thing. you can't. You can't just think, hey, I'm gonna go to a different country. I'm gonna pop up. They gonna give me that. You can't even do that over here. Like you gotta, you gotta show not, your respect. Let's not act crazy now. You, you gotta, gotta check I mean? in. You gotta check in. You gotta it's, check yeah, in. It has to make sense. So uh, we did that. And you know, I think that this year, instead of us doing a po- uh, instead of us doing specifically a fashion show, mm-hmm. and y'all might still see the fashion show. I might surprise the shit out Come y'all. Come on! But it might be on some uh, Alexander McQueen shit where we rushing people, we rushing the streets. Like we might rush but it you late know what, night. Though, you know, that wouldn't be that wouldn't be too far off. That wouldn't be too far gone. No, I mean it. You're fucking ugly. No, but I'm saying, <laughs> no, but, but I'm saying that wouldn't be that wouldn't be bad though. Yeah, you know. You know so I mean? we 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 got some ideas in the store. We you know we mm-hmm. linked in with some good people out there, and you know they're they're in the works of helping us. So we got the par- we got the Perry show coming up. Um, there we go. That possibly is you coming. You heard it. Yeah, yeah. You know I slipped you up heard and said it. it. Um, you heard it. And as far as for London, you know, man, that's my heart and soul right yeah. there. Paris and London, those is my heart and soul. Mm-hmm. It's like if I if I could, I would leave it all out there. Yeah. You know? So um Paris, we got a little bit of something. I mean, Paris, we said that, but London, we got a we got a special thing for them. You know, yeah. they more on the underground, just how we are out here yeah, in, exactly. in the states wise. So the idea for them is to build something of a special curation mm-hmm. for them. Okay. Um and it be something during fashion week yeah but it be something to where we can bring our brothers out and it be hey we're doing we're doing all our underground brothers that make music yeah um i don't know if you're in tune with surf gang have you heard about surf gang come from, on i just want to make sure i just want to make on. sure you, you know, know come i just want to make sure you come know, on you know, you know me man you so, know me you know i've been spending a lot of time with my boys from new york and so if uh-huh. y'all don't know um I'm just gonna shine a little bit of light on my boys back in New York. Yeah. Um, Surf Gang, they doing their motherfucking thing out Definitely. there. My boy Polo T, man. Gianni. Gianni, yeah. Harrison, all them mm-hmm. niggas. And then on the backside, you got 1600J. Yeah. Man, you got the real young Phil. You're, do, you're doing, you know what I'm saying? Look at you tap. So, you tap and, and it's not that, you know what it is, is I think that we did the route of the big stars. What I'm, yeah. what I'm doing is, is, these is my brothers. Yeah. Let's grow with my let's grow yeah. with our people. Let's we didn't get that sense. route. Yeah. Let's make it make sense. Let's, let's all grow sense. together. And you know, um, that's what I was that's what we were talking a little bit about the mm-hmm. London show where it'd be a beautiful curation of, you know, something with models, but as well as, you know, it's rappers and, and, and making it a making man, it experience less man, than a show. Man, come yeah. on. Yeah. Come and on. And I'm I'm that's bring the skaters that, out. That, so? that, that would be something that come I would de- that's y'all. Come on. That's that's your and that's what we trying to do too. I I, I want to be the I want to be the bridge for yeah. the in between the the European culture as well as the the American culture. And I know there's already a bridge. Yeah, but, but there ain't that bridge bridge. Yeah. So if we can gap that and yeah. we can bring our brothers from over here, 
in the States and bring them overseas mm-hmm. and them already have the same connections that we have already just because of the internet. Yeah. Well, let's put that shit in fucking play. Yeah, let's, let's actually you know make it a, let's, let's make it a key. Let, let's, let's do something that these, these dudes did 20, 30 years ago. I think that that's what we need to get Word. back to. No, I'm, and I'm, you know, I support. I always know you, you know do, what I'm saying? Sam, which no, I appreciate. Yeah, you know man. what I'm saying? I support. First of all, first of all, I mean, we're, we're going to wrap up here. Yeah, we, we but got I, a but few I minutes. Wanna, we but, good too. We yo, good. Oh, right. Yeah, I know. I know. Good, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Good. But I just want to make sure. But yeah, no. But I'm saying like, you know, I support y'all niggas a million percent, thousand Thank percent. You. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? Definitely excited to see the clothes and everything else that y'all got going yes, on. Sir. You know what I'm saying? But again, just to give the flowers, like, yeah, y'all are- Thank you, man. Thank y'all are you. definitely that. Thank like, you. You know what I'm saying? Thank Especially, you. you know what I mean? Like, and I want people to understand too, like, I'm very fortunate to see a lot of this stuff happen from a grassroots kind of situation 100%. so you know what I'm saying so and I've seen the I've seen the hustle I've seen the struggles I've seen that 100, 100. so I mean so to see you especially where we're at now and everything else yeah man, like I y'all got it, it. You I know appreciate it man I like I told you, I, I I keep saying it back to back man mm-hmm. I'm nothing without my dudes yeah my team I'm nothing without them everybody that's here in this room Plus more, like, because they, yeah. shit, since we met <laughs> 10, man, it went from what? I think about three, it was four three, of it was us. Three, it was three of us. Yeah, no. three of us, and, man, we about 30, 40 deep. And, you know, and it's just out for the strength of love and support and, yeah. man, just the growth. And like I said, you know, I'll, they keep me going, man. Yeah. They keep me going every day, bro. Uh, when I'm down and I'm out, man, people don't understand. This industry is so nitty and gritty and... Where I'm from and how I was raised, mm-hmm. man. They told me, you know, don't don't let nobody get over on you. Don't let nobody. Don't say no wooden nickels. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> don't let this industry fool fool. Yeah. Don't let this industry Come get on. to you. Mm. Come on. So a lot of Message. times, you know, there's there's a lot of times where I didn't thought about quitting, but yeah. you know, my brothers that are around me right now, everybody and a lot of people that are ten times bigger than me. I'm talking yeah. about these celebrities and stuff. Cause we didn't grow to be friends, so yeah, you exactly, have conversations yeah, yeah, exactly. with people, and you you want to know what their story is, so that see if you can relate. You know, yeah. everybody just tell me, you know, you at that point where you you didn't gone too far to where you can quit. So just Shameless keep going. Plug. No, exactly. Just keep going. No nah, word, and I mean, you guys are definitely doing it. Yes, sir. And I mean, and and to the point of no return. Hundred percent. Hundred percent, man. We trying to be. I always tell people, man, I ain't aiming to be the biggest streetwear brand. I ain't aiming to be none of that shit. Yeah. I want Too Far Gone to be a household name. I want Too Far Gone to be that next Tommy Hilfiger, Polo, yeah. Fubi, Fubu, Sean yeah, John. exactly. You know what I'm saying? Shit that... And when I say those brands, obviously, we don't carry... Yeah, that culture of those brands and what I'm, I'm not the culture. Yeah, we have the we, culture, the culture, but it's the the, the essence, aesthetic. Yeah, the aesthetic of the essence. We of don't it. carry that aesthetic, but when I say those brands, mm-hmm. we're American made. Yeah, we do everything ourselves, hand in hand, hand in hand. So if we can be those next big dogs mm-hmm. to come out and do something well rounded, mm-hmm. I'm not talking about doing shit for the fads. Yeah. I'm not talking about what doing shit for what's hot Yeah, for now, what's nigga. going on like, right now. I'm talking about longevity. Yeah. Like we said. We got to last. Age, age group. What's your age group? A mm-hmm. lot of these dudes age group that they sell to is in between 15 and 24. Yeah. That would, yeah. Right. Yeah. You're not wrong. Let's open it up. Let's, let's, let's push it. Why can't Too Far Gone make clothes for the average 45-year-old man that want to look good? Why you know can't I mean? Too Far Gone eventually make kids clothes? Why can't Too Far Gone eventually make baby clothes? Come on. Why can't we venture out and possibly make our own multimedia company? I knew that was up. I knew that was next. I knew that was next. Because that's all I was about to say. What else, what, what else are the plans? I knew there's more. Man, come on. We I know I'm already done, man. man we, I mean, so, you know like, we, we talked a little bit, and I know we wrapping this up soon, yeah, but, you, you know, can, we, yeah. we still, you, it's been a minute, so we got yeah, a lot yeah, to catch up on. Saying. No, there's, there's um, a lot going on. We got a lot of people that on the team now as far as the pieces to the puzzle. Yeah. Remember, we talked a little bit earlier about that. Everybody wants everybody to look the part. Yes. But you got to... But you got to play, play the, the part. part. You, know? you ever pay oh, attention God. to them old school basketball teams, the Celtics, things like that, where mm-hmm. the team look a little ortho- unorthodox. Yeah. 
but they didn't win five, six champions back to back. They play old school ball. They know what they're doing. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's doing their part. So that's where, you know, we having these conversations about the multimedia and things of that sort. Mm -hmm. um, we're getting ourselves around people right now that are involving us a little bit more in the NFT business, a little bit more in the yeah. stock business, okay. um, things of that sort. So mm -hmm. where once we make the money from Too Far Gone, how can we still keep it under hey, Too Far Gone, it. but generate more? Yeah. If anybody knows anything about the clothing business, it's up and down. It's up, yeah, and, it's down. up and down. You can have your height one minute, but you can fall the next minute. Not lying. So how can you take your money that you made and turn it into do something, something more? with it? And do something. That's where we have well with it. Exactly. We're around all these people, multimedia. Shit, we can do anything exactly. that we want. If you love me, put this say it. Let me look get far. Put my ugly sitting in a room confessing secrets again. Wonder if you trust me, tell me secrets. Do you